Damien, the last time I met you in the Thames Eye Theatre was yes. Aladdin in about 2007. That's right, the last one I did, isn't it? Yes. yes. Yeah. Been a busy man since then. Yeah, busy since then. I've done uh, the last um, the last uh, two years. I've been in Sheffield, Panto, over Christmas last year. Uh, I did last year. I filmed last August. I filmed uh, Are You Smart Than Ten Year Old for Sky One, which is on now uh, every Sunday, seven o'clock. Uh, but not at the moment because they've got to dance on it, it's extended. But from next week on, I think it goes back to normal to seven o'clock on Sunday. Yeah, I'm doing that. I mean, uh, I've got another series of uh, a new show that uh, we're working on at the moment, the format. We don't know what it's going to be yet at the end. But hopefully, we're going to film that in the spring, May time, something like that. Um, and at this precise moment, I'm doing a play at the Palace Theatre, so what's it the mating game, 8 o'clock tonight, and 2 tomorrow. So, so when you left the pantomime here, yes. I mean, you were a legend here. Yeah, that, but, but it must have been. Did you feel when you went to Sheffield that you were starting again? Oh, absolutely, yeah, because I had such a good reputation here. I mean, I was 12 years here, and it just got bigger and bigger. When I started, I think it was like a two and a half week run, and by the time we finished, uh, it was a six week run. It was packed, you couldn't get tickets, they were like gold dust. And it was really good, it was a fantastic atmosphere, and it was part of everyone's Christmas. And um, you know, it was sad, when I left, it was sad. Everyone, you know, and I still get stopped by people in the street saying, oh, are you going to come back? And, but no, it, it was good for me. It's the, it's the best thing I did was leave because I think people sat up and thought, "All oh, right, he's, he's, he's doing other things now." And um, the first year I did uh, Sheffield in March, I got a phone call from Stuart Murphy, who's the head of Sky, yeah. and he said that oh, we want you to, you know, do I use my little ten-year-old? So I said, "Yeah, brilliant. I'll do. I definitely do." <laughs> so uh, then I filmed twenty episodes of that uh, in August, which are on. Well, they were on over Christmas. The first ten on over Christmas. And they show the last ten every Sunday, like it's one on every Sunday. And which has led on to another series, they want to do another series of something else. It won't be smarter, I think, because I think, I think Sky have had enough of smarter now, so they'll probably put that to bed. So it's something here, they want to do something else. So, yeah, I've done one, I did a one-man play at the end of um, last year as well, which was brilliant, just for four weeks of that, um, which I've never done before. I always wanted to do a one-man play, because I've done a lot of two-handers and I've done a lot of farces, but I've always wanted to do a one-man play just so I could say I've done it. So I tried to do just like that for a while, you know, the Tommy Cooper thing. But they, they weren't allowing that out because Jerome Flynn had done it in the West End, they went on tour, and then they just stopped people doing it. But apparently I've just had this going out again, so I'm very gutted about that because I've done that. There's something, I mean, something about your comedy, yeah. and, but you also look, you look like something that has a huge potential to play darker and, and de characters with depth, is that yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, what, the, the, this one man plays is, uh, is about a stand up uh, comedian. And it's funny, act one's very funny, because you do the routine, you do all the acts, and I do a lot of the old type, you know, with the hats and the suits, all the old time style musical type comedy. But then act two, it goes very dark, because you realise he's in prison and, you know, he's, in, he's killed someone. So. It all goes a bit, yeah. But I've got such good reviews for that, but I'm going to do it again. Definitely. And Southend, tell us about the play there. Mating game, fast, just a lot of slamming doors and drop trousers, really. Uh, it's about, I play a TV, uh, uh, he's got a chat show, so he's a TV host, he's made a lot of money, but he's a virgin. And it's all about him trying to lose his virginity and his brother tries to help him. So it's all about, you know, chaotic, me running around, slamming doors. And, but he's got the, the thing about the comedy is my apartment, his parents' apartment. It's all push buttons, you push a button, the bed comes down, push a button, the bar comes out, and you know, it's all over, so chaos. Um, is there anything, from, yeah, being from Farrah, is there anything yes. from that has influenced the way you act and the way your comedy in, in or your atmosphere? Uh, I mean, the people, uh, I think the people, yeah, they, I mean, definitely here, I learned a lot here, 12 years here, because you know, I tried everything out, you know, and, you, and, you, it, and it all worked, thankfully. But being here, yeah, I mean, the thorough people seem to get that style of humour. You know, you know the humour that works here won't necessarily work up north. You have to change bits and pieces. But I was always onto a winner here. So, yeah, I did have 12 years to actually practice and get my act right before I went with it. And what else would you like to do? Uh, well, I mean, at the moment, I'm really enjoying doing the TV stuff. Um, it's, you know, it's brilliant. It's really, you know, I'd like to do more of that. I'd like to bring that old style back to telly because there's no one doing it anymore. There's no, there's no Michael Barrymore's, there's no Les Dawson's, there's no any of those type shows that used to be that satellite television and there's no, no one's doing that. So I'd like to bring that back. I'd like to have a show where the audience are as much part of it as 
people, like the contestants who are on it. I'm like, I'm like one of those type shows. Isn't that interesting? Because I think three years ago, when I, I first time I'd ever seen you, and I thought that guy, if he was in music hall, he'd have been huge, yeah. and maybe he's out of time. But you're saying, well, yeah. you want to bring back that time. Yeah, well, I think it's about time. I think, you know, people start to have nothing with reality television and all that. I think it, it's time that we did bring a little bit of entertainment back. Because it, it's, you know, it's got to be time now, otherwise it'll all just be forgotten. And, and, so, and so what about young people who are starting you know, out, the, the borough full of young yes. drama classes, yeah. drama schools, etc. Yeah. What's your advice to young people? Well, I think my only advice to say is just to keep at it. Something will happen, you've just got to keep at it. Because the people that, um, that, that have gone, and gone, like me, who just worked and worked and worked at it and kept going, whatever job it was, keep going and going and going, something will give at some point. There's a lot of people that drop out, they get disheartened after about five, six years, and they drop out. And a lot of my friends who I started with just dropped out and they've got you know, jobs in offices and everything else. But if you really want to do it and it's in your blood, then just keep doing it and something will give eventually. And did you ever, did you ever have moments to think, I'm just, I'm just going to quit? And yeah, 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 yeah. You have moments you just think, I can't do this anymore. Especially when you spend like months touring, you know, just baby looking out of a bag. You just think, you know, you, sometimes if you have a bad week, like the theatre's not selling. And, you just think, well, this is what I can't do more of this. What about five years' time? Where do you see yourself in five years' time? Uh, oh, I don't know. I'd like to, do you know what? I'd like to do a nice sitcom in five years' time. If I could do a nice... Because the thing is with Sky, they're trying to bring more comedy back. They're trying to get more comedy into Sky, and that's what this, the new guy, Stuart, is trying to do. He wants to make it. Because Sky was always a documentary channel. There's always lots of documentaries and sport in there, but I think he's trying to make it a really good channel and bring everything there, like a lot of family entertainment, a lot of comedy. So a nice sitcom would be nice, a nice, you know, a well written, because we haven't had a really good sitcom for ages, not since like the Falls and Horses and all that, where you know, they were phenomenal. So I'd like to have something like that. It's funny, just